Hi, I'm Anna Habeck. I'm the Historian in Residence at the State Library of Queensland and I'm a Research Professor at Griffith University. One of the joys of working at the State Library has been looking through old family photo albums and two that really captured my eye were the Nicholson family album from 1864 and the Lorenz family albums from the 1880s and 1890s. They intrigued me because they were so beautiful but also because they seem to tell quite different stories about migration to Queensland in the 19th century when British people and then Germans were the preferred settlers. My challenge was how to tap into these stories. When we look through our own family albums we see memories of familiar people, places and events. But what could I learn from albums made so long ago by people I didn't know? There were no family descendants to guide me all I had were some brief details from the library records about the families and the history of immigration to Queensland. So I decided to approach the albums like any other text. How were the photographs arranged? Was there a storyline there? What was the setting? Who were the main characters? The Nicholson album was quite easy to read in this way. This is an iconic British migrant success story. In fact, a colleague said the album reminded her of coming to Australia as a migrant in the 1960s. We see a handsome young couple and their daughter setting off from England. In Brisbane, we see them building their new home with its gardens and plantations. The wife's handwritten comments around the photographs guide us through their daily fortunes. The album's charm is that the photographs were taken using one of the colony's first privately owned cameras. So we get an intimate insight into the iconic migrant narrative. We see glimpses of the old, her work basket and his shipboard stool, and the new, kangaroo and possum skins, pineapples, a watermelon, towering bush and the wide verandas of their new home. Still, there are mysteries. The album ends suddenly. Why, I wondered. And what is the meaning of two treasured keepsakes tucked in its last empty pages? A fragile fern leaf and a child's lock of hair. The Lorenz albums were more difficult to read. Artist Emile Lorenz created them over two decades. Hand-coloured postcards and black and white family photographs from Queensland and Germany are all mixed up together. What's the story here? I could see an overarching chronology from bachelorhood to marriage and children and of journeys between Brisbane and the Lorenz family home in Saxony. But was there another story in the many contrasting images set side by side? A snow-covered German cottage and a Queensland bottle tree in high summer? Or the mayhem of the Hamburg docks and a sleepy Brisbane railway station? Was this how Lorenz expressed the migrant's dilemma of having home and heart at opposite ends of the world? Certainly, the crisscrossing journeys contained in the album suggest that the Britishness that made Queensland home for the Nicholsons did not satisfy Emile Lorenz's longing for his distant homeland. So there it is. I found a good story in each of the albums, but are they real or did I just invent them? Come in and find out for yourself. You can see the albums in the Heritage Collection Reading Room at the State Library or you can check them out on the new virtual exhibition, Becoming Queensland, on the State Library of Queensland website.